de Creadores Digitales. Mi nombre es León Ramos y en esta ocasión estoy en la hermosa ciudad de Guadalajara, más específicamente en Wiseline, Guadalajara, y más específicamente en el COS o en la cumbre de contribuidores al Open Source Software. Sean ustedes bienvenidos a este su podcast de tecnología y seguridad. Les iremos compartiendo a través de varias entrevistas lo más destacado de este magnífico evento. Así es que quédense. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Hola, creadores digitales. León Ramos y estamos en esta ocasión aquí en el COS, en la cumbre de colaboradores para el Open Source Software y tenemos con nosotros Sharon Foga, que es la eh, vicepresidenta del de desarrollo de comunidades de la Apache Software Foundation o ASF. Y eh, bueno, en esta ocasión vamos a hacer esta entrevista en inglés, espero que no les eh, moleste y bueno, sin más ni más, la, eh, la presento. How are you, Sharon? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> Great. Uh, is this your first time in Mexico? It is my very first time in Mexico. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, how do you feel uh, the city, Guadalajara? How do you feel the, the weather, the people, community? How is going? Uh, how how do you feel all the all the things that are surrounding this uh, the summit? I think it's my first time in uh, Guadalajara and Mexico and Guadalajara it's amazing I was really uh, surprised the technology it's like a tech hub here uh -huh. so many people interested in technology and, uh, entrepreneur and startups um, also as well a very very warm welcome I had my first sort of Mexican uh, dinner yesterday uh -huh. with some tequila and Great. Or the tostada. Or, oh, it was lovely. Very, very nice. Great. So let me go into the, the deeper issues here. Um, well, there are so many questions I have for you. The first one would be, is Mexico a good soil for harvesting open source software contributors? Yes, definitely. Uh, the Apache Software Foundation is global. We have contributors from around the world. And I was surprised that uh, not very many people uh, knew so much about uh, contributing to Apache Software Foundation projects. So it was really, really good for us to come here and talk to people who are, who are really, really keen and happy to contribute. Great, great. And, uh, um There are a lot of people, I, I wasn't expecting this, this much, uh, 520 mm. yeah. something, yeah. so it's, it's a lot, uh, I, I'm, I'm uh, surprised. Uh, so what do you think is the importance of creating a community? The a community is the source of everything. I mean, even uh, when you're uh, developing code, We're talking about open source and open source projects and open source technology. Even when you're developing all of this source and this code, you need the people around it to maintain it, uh, the people around it to believe in it, and the people around it to bring it forward and make it great in the future. So the community is like the heart of, uh, of, the, of open source. So without the community, there is no open source. Yeah, we, we can think about it as the soul of, of a body, and uh, mm. without the soul, the body is not going to work. Exactly, that's a really good one. Yes, yes, exactly. How does a long-distance community work? So, uh, at Apache, what we have is that we have um, um, we, we work via mailing lists, so we, we, we post and we discuss things via mailing lists, and each time we have a discussion, we make sure that we have up to uh, 72 hours between to wait for responses from people because not everybody is in the same time zone so you you post a discussion you say hey i need some feedback on this what do you think and then you need to wait as each people come into their time zone oh i think this is a good idea i think this is a bad idea here is my option oh yes i like it no i'm not so sure have you thought about this so making time or leave, make, giving time for people to respond. Well, that, that's a good point. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. Here in Mexico we have uh, just three time zones mm -hmm. and uh, we're always using central <laughs> because it's a, it's a practical thing. Mm -hmm. But now that you, you say this, uh, I understand that a global, a global effort 
is is bigger than your zone. It, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a detail, but it it uh, it means a lot. Yeah, I, th I think w one of the things with as a foundation, I think we find is that you know people think, ah, oh, I'm working on, in the U.S., so therefore everybody that's going to respond to me is going to be in the U.S. No, if you're a global organization, you need to wait. So, you know, there's people in Europe, there's people in China, there's people in Australia, India, all around the world that may be able be able to help you with a problem or to discuss or respond. So it's really important to give people time. I think also as well, um, being aware of the global community also helps you because it makes you think about others. And I think that's software, open source software is about producing software that others can use. Mm -hmm. So you're also thinking about others. Okay. Um, talking about others, um, we, we often uh, underestimate our own capacities. And uh, sometimes this is uh, like an entry barrier that prevents us from contributing to uh, global organizations, as, mm -hmm. you, as you said. Um, how oh, do you have any tricks or tips that you can, um, I don't know, tell us or share with our listeners in order to uh, to address this uh, initial barrier? Yeah, well, I, I did a talk today and I mentioned to a few people about contributing to open source and some of the reasons why people don't, because they're scared, they think they, their contribution isn't very much, isn't worth anything, or they think that uh, they're embarrassed. Um, so these are barriers that people think, oh no, I can't contribute to open source because of this. I say that, you know, You, you, you climb a mountain one step at a time. Some people have big steps, some people have small steps. Think of a uh, contribution like this, you know. Start with a small step. It doesn't have to be a big step. And something small to, to, to you could be something really big and important uh, to, to the community or to the software. So. We talked a lot about documentation and uh, contributions that were not necessarily coding. So somebody talked about uh, website design, somebody talked about uh, graphics, somebody talked about um, uh, translations. So these are steps or, or, or ways of being able to contribute that are not maybe you know, too complicated and so maybe sort of easier for people to get into the, the process and the flow. And once they make that first step, then it's a lot easier to take other steps. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, we have a, a one, uh, one buyer, the language buyer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, we, can, we can feel it. I mean, uh, some, some guys are uh, too ashamed for asking questions on your talks. And uh, I mean, we can feel it. Mm -hmm. uh, how... how Um, are you, as the Apache Software Foundation, addressing this globally? Because uh, I, I'm thinking in Spanish, but mm -hmm. but as a, as a global organization, there are too many languages. Yes. So so officially, we have um, sort of English as, as our mailing list languages, and and we have this mainly because we have like a, a governance. We want to be able to uh, ensure that the decisions, the key decisions for the projects, are made in an open way. So uh, so it's public public lists that people can look at and see how things happen. Um, the language thing, uh, we, it's not only Spanish that we, 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 we're going to have, we have this problem. Um, where with contributors, we have co contributors from many, many different countries with many, many different languages. Um, we're trying to uh, look at ways in which we can make it easier for them. Um, the mailing list can be translated. Um, we, I think we have just started having, we have some mailing lists, supplementary mailing lists in other la additional languages. Um, but I think uh, as, as a, as a, as a, as a, as a long-term solution, I'm not sure how feasible that is, is that, because the main thing is around communication. Exactly. And if we have one language, central language of communication, then Every, we know that everybody will need to be able to interact with that. Mm -hmm. If we try and split it up into multiple languages, then we might be excluding people that can't, can't don't speak that language. Okay. Um, 
one area that we're starting to, to look at in the foundation is diversity and inclusion. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at the uh, ways in which um, you know contributors have, have, uh, are coming into the, into Apache or have tried to come into Apache but couldn't. Maybe because of language, maybe because of the reaction, maybe because of lack of response. We don't know. Mm -hmm. So we're doing some work around the diversity and inclusion to try and understand, you know, are people coming and they're being put off because of something that we're doing or we're doing right or do we doing wrong? We don't know. Exactly. So it's a, it's, it's a, it's, it, there's no right or wrong answer. I think we just need to work on it um, and, and, and understand the communities and the languages that we need to, uh, to, to work with. Great. Diversity and inclusion. And I was thinking about that too. Why do you think diversity uh, is important for the IT world and uh, specifically for the ASM? So, um, <laughs> so uh, IT. So I, 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 uh, I, I sort of have been in IT a long time. And I was there when there was a, like the, the, the drop off in a lot of women in, in, in IT, okay. in coding and things like when this. When was that? So it's like sort of like the sort of 90s. So uh -huh. like, you know, it was like, you know, all of a sudden women didn't study or were, were not trained, being trained in, in coding and, and IT. Do you know the costs? Uh, well, there's a lots of different there's there's lots of different uh, theories for the causes. I don't know. I don't I, I, I don't know. Uh, but uh, there's different theories. Uh -huh. Anyway, the result is now is that we're having a lot. There's a lot of uh, initiatives to to uh, bring uh, say women into coding and people that didn't previously have the opportunity to get into coding into uh, more IT tech uh, tech uh, um, uh, work and, and and jobs. Mm -hmm. And I think. Um, on the on the what we did was um, so community development, which is what the area that I was in, I'm involved in in the in the ASF. Mm -hmm. We did a, a, a survey, a diversity survey, a, f a few years ago of the committers, just to see you know what what sort of level we have at the ASF, and this is available on uh, on our on our website. And we saw that you know we were sort of underrepresented by, by females, mm -hmm. and also underrepresented by some other uh, sort of languages and different groups. Mm -hmm. And so this is why we want to do some more work there to say, right, okay, is it is it what is it that's stopping people contributing? Uh -huh. and what is it? What are the things that we can do to help attract more contributors? And this is one of the reasons I think we're here in Guadalajara, uh -huh. uh, you know, this weekend, to talk to people about um, uh, Apache and also to listen and learn. So I've had some uh, good conversations with people uh, to understand how Apache can help uh, engage with them and uh, talk to them and maybe even hold more uh, events or uh, work with them to understand how to participate in, in, in projects. Great. Um, Latinos, generally speaking, I mean, there are, <laughs> there are some individuals that are different, but um, we are very used to bond, but in a face-to-face -face way, like uh, ah. sitting next to each other. Mm -hmm. Th that's our way. Um, how how to, to change this or how to have this same effect uh, using a virtual software community? Ah, okay. So um, one thing that we have with Apache, so for the most part, we communicate on list or online sort of virtual community but what we do have is we organize conferences so we have an apache con one in north america and normally one in europe uh, once a year where we bring all the as many people as possible the community together to, to meet face to face mm -hmm. and uh, and understand talk hack practice talk have a maybe drink a beer uh -huh. forge the relationships and this is the way that we we, we work and for example uh, there was some time that I'm, I met people at ApacheCon uh, this year that I've spoken to on the mailing list but never ever met in person uh -huh. and you greet them like a friend it's like a family you know uh -huh. because you know the interactions so the the bonding the face the, the face to face bonding isn't isn't lost we we appreciate it at, uh, at Apache and it's something that we we do in, we do in, uh, include so we do the Apache Khan we're now doing some local road shows um, we participate in meetups so the face to face part is is there 
Great. Sharon, um, well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, do you have any message that you want to tell to our listeners that couldn't be here, but are still interested in uh, participating in this kind of uh, summits or uh, communities? Well, if you want to find out any more information about, so community development at Apache is uh, community.apache.org. Um, we have some sections on there about how to contribute to Apache. If you're new and and, uh, um, and don't know what to where to start or how to get started, there's some information and resources there. I think um, I've heard from people today that they really like another Apache uh, event or some type of meetup in uh, in Mexico. Yeah. So um, we will uh, go back and uh, and see what we can do, uh, whether we can do some sort of small event, meetup, roadshow, whatever. I think. Uh, it would be nice to come back and do something else in Mexico for our, our people, the people here. Yeah. Great, and congratulations because uh, this event is, is great. Too many people, and <laughs> the Apache Software Foundation uh, brought a lot of uh, their staff here, so we were able to, to meet you <laughs> and to uh, hear from you what you are. Uh, bring you here and to, to increase your community. <laughs> Thank you, yes. I've spoken to a few people and I've given them my email and I've told them, email me, please don't hesitate to email me if you need any information. So that was great, you know, just to build that, build that relationship. Perfect. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales. Creadores digitales.